welcome to the mathematics in my channel so here we have derivative of a constant is not equal to zero so what do you think okay uh, i am begin with um, derivative of we know d by dx also we can represent as a capital d derivative of x to the k we know uh, the general power rule k times x to the k minus 1 and also we can write this is equal to k factorial over k minus 1 factorial because we know k factorial we can write k times k minus 1 factorial then k minus 1 factorial get cancelled so we have only k and x to the k minus 1 now if we take uh, second derivative of x to the k we know here we have k times k minus 1 x to the k minus 2 so we can write this is also equal to k factorial over k minus 2 factorial times x to the k minus 2 so uh, if we look at carefully now we have a pattern so similarly we can write nth derivative of x to the k is equal to here k factorial k factorial so here in the numerator we have a k factorial k minus 1 k minus 2 so k minus n factorial times x to the k minus n so uh, now factorial uh, we can represent as a gamma function so we can write nth derivative of x to the k is equal to we know k factorial is equal to gamma of k plus 1 over here we have gamma of k minus n plus 1 times x to the k minus n okay here uh, we have the general power rule of fractional differentiation here uh, n can be any real number so now uh, we are going to find the derivative of a constant so uh, if we take um, any constant uh, any constant so i am going to take half derivative half derivative of a constant so we can write this is also d one half here uh, c x raised to the zero power and here we know c is a constant so we can take like this so here t one half x to the zero power <coughs> okay then we know here uh, nth derivative of x to the k so we can apply this formula uh, we know k is equal to here uh, sorry yeah k is equal to one half k is equal to one half and n is equal to n is sorry here n n is equal one half and k is equal to zero here k we know zero x to the zero power so we can write uh, half derivative of a constant is equal to now here gamma of k plus one so here c times gamma of k plus one k we know zero so gamma of one over here uh, gamma of we know k zero in one half so one minus one half we know one half so gamma of one half times x to the k minus n k we know zero uh, n we know one half so x to the minus one half okay then uh, if we can write half derivative of a constant c is equal to gamma of one we know one gamma of one half we know the square root of pi and here we know one over square root of x so we can write the square root of pi times x so here half derivative of a constant is not equal to zero so here this is our topic so we should write here half derivative half derivative of a constant is not equal to zero 
okay then uh, this is uh, here we used uh, general uh, power rule the definition of fractional calculus then uh, we can also uh, find uh, half derivative of a constant uh, by using uh, Riemann Loew definition of fractional uh, differentiation so this is the definition of uh, Riemann Loew fractional differentiation if we have uh, here alpha power uh, f is equal to 1 over gamma of 1 sorry 1 minus alpha so here uh, alpha derivative of uh, f function and here we have d by dx integral from 0 to x c sorry instead of uh, here uh, f of t f of t over x minus t to the alpha d t this is the definition of uh, fractional uh, differentiation uh, by Riemann Lewy okay now uh, we can we should uh, change alpha when alpha is equal to one half and uh, we know here instead of function we have a constant function so I'm going to take our function is equal to C so uh, we can write now D one half of C is equal to here one over gamma of one minus alpha alpha we know one half so gamma of one half uh, then d by dx integral form 0 to x now f of t is equal to our function c constant so constant over here x minus t to the alpha we know one half d t okay then uh, here 1 over gamma of 1 half we know the square root of 5 here d by dx now c is a constant uh, okay uh, let's uh, write again here 0 to x mm. okay uh, we can uh, take uh, antiderivative so we can write d by dx here uh, c minus 2 times the square root of x minus t uh, we know uh, limit from 0 to x limit from 0 to x okay then uh, we can simplify 1 over the square root of pi here uh, 2 times c so um, uh, before it we can apply limit so uh, d by dx c times now if we apply uh, x we know here 0 then minus here minus so plus now if we apply 0 here we have 2 times square root of x uh, then here uh, we know c times 2 so 2 times c over the square root of pi derivative of uh, square root of x so 2 times c over the square root of pi times here 1 over 2 times the square root of x 2 get cancelled and here we have c over the square root of pi x okay now we know uh, in uh, traditional differentiation the derivative of a constant is uh, always equal to 0 but uh, if we consider half derivative we know half derivative of a constant is not equal to 0 thank you for watching